Hello, in this video we're going to calculate the Gini coefficient and we're going to do a numerical example. So what is a Gini? It's a measure of income inequality that ranges from zero, perfect equality, each income quintile has the same income, to one, perfect inequality, where the top quintile, the top 20%, earns all the income. A higher Gini coefficient therefore represents an increase in income inequality. So first the formula, the Gini coefficient is the area between the perfect equality Lorenz and the actual Lorenz curve, divided by the area under the perfect equality Lorenz curve. So note the area under the perfect equality Lorenz curve is a triangle. The perfect equality Lorenz curve here would be this black line, where each income quintile is getting 20% of the income. And this area is just going to be, the area under this black line here is just going to be a, a triangle one-half base times height. So 0.5 times the, the base of the triangle goes from 0 to 1, so it's 1, and the height of the triangle, same thing, goes from 0 to 1. We'll get an answer of 0.5, and it'll always be 0.5. So this denominator here in our calculation will always be 0 0.5. The next step is to calculate the area under the actual Lorenz curve and we're going to break this area up into two parts. So the actual Lorenz curve is this blue line here, this blue curve, and we're going to break this area up into two parts, uh, rectangles and a triangle. So first, let's calculate the area under each of the four rectangles. So what am I talking about here? So you see this green line here? There's a little rectangle right here. We're going to calculate that area. And then this green line over here, this horizontal green line, we can envision another rectangle right here. And we have yet another rectangle here and our final rectangle right here. So there's going to be four rectangles and the area of a rectangle is just width times length. So looking at this first rectangle, um, it has a length of 0.2. Okay, so we're breaking this up into quintiles, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, as you can see right here, these numbers. And the width of this rectangle might be a little bit hard to see, but where this black dot is, if we bring it across, that's what this 0 0.02 is representing right here. So this is at 0 0.02. So that's the area of the first rectangle. The area of the second rectangle, a little bit easier to see. Uh, it's going to be 0.2 times the width. Here is 0 0.07. Moving on to the next rectangle, it's 0.2 times 0.2. So 0.2 times 0.2 for area of this rectangle. And our last rectangle is going to be, going to be 0.2 times 0.4. So doing the math here, the area of all these rectangles, these four rectangles, equals 0 0.138. Okay, our second step is to calculate the area of five triangles. And this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, so first, what am I talking about five triangles? So there's a little triangle right here has a base of 0.2 and a height of 0.02. And there's another triangle right here. Base of 0.2, a height of actually uh, 0.05, 0 0.07 minus 0 0.02. And another triangle right here, another one here, and another one up here, this big one. So the easiest way to do this is to recognize that the base of each triangle is 0.2. So all these five triangles, they have a base of 0.2. And then the height of these five triangles, if we add them up, it's just 1. So we're going to calcul calculate the area of one giant triangle by doing 1 half base times height, and it's just going to be 0.1. Okay. So the third step then is to take our answer from part 1 and part 2 and just add them together. So the area under the actual Lorenz curve, the area under this blue line here, this blue curved line is going to be 0.238. Okay, so we've got all the information now to calculate the Gini coefficient. And so here is our calculation. Uh, the, again, the Gini coefficient is going to be the uh, ratio of the area between the 
perfect equality Lorenz curve and the actual Lorenz curve uh, divided by the Okay, so now just uh, putting in our values here. Uh, as I said, the denominator is going to be 0 0.5. And what we're going to do in the numerator is we're going to take 0 0.5 minus our answer we found on the last slide, 0 0.238. Uh, so what am I doing in the numerator? That calculation in the numerator is getting us this area here between the black line and the blue line. And so once we do that, uh, we get a Gini coefficient of 0.524. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.